Good morning, Sunday School class. We are talking about ambassadors for Christ. Three outlines, ministry of persuasion, ministry of love, ministry of reconciliation. We are in 2 Corinthians verses 5, chapter 5, verses 11 through 21. All right, let's start with a word of prayer and get right into our lesson. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for waking us up this morning and watching over us all last night. Jesus, we ask you right now to forgive us for our sins, that we come clean and repent and turn to you and turn away from our wicked ways. Heavenly Father, bless us right now, O gentle Savior, that we get some out of this lesson and pass it on to others as well. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. In that class, we still talk about Paul. You know, being a ambassador for Christ, and he is still going through it with the Corinthians. And the problem what's going on here is he's still talking about Jesus Christ. And some people just don't believe in Jesus Christ. They just not willing to accept him. As Lord and Savior, but Paul is pressing on. He have some people that is against him, think he's crazy on believing in this 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 Jesus, and he has some that actually back him, that actually believe that he was called to be an apostle and to preach and teach about Jesus Christ. Let's start off with um, ministry of persuasion. 2 Corinthians, first, second, second Corinthians chapter 5, verses 11 through 13. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God. I trust also are made manifest in your consciousness. For we commend not ourselves again unto you, but give you occasion to glory on our behalf that ye may have somewhat to answer them which glory in appearance and not in your heart, in heart. For whether we be beside ourselves, it is to God, and whether it be sober, it is for your cause. Amen, amen. You know, we see in the first verse here, uh, verse 11, knowing therefore for their terror, of the Lord. We're not talking about, you know, being afraid of God. We talking about actually fear of God, showing reverence, showing respect to the Lord, understanding who he is. God Almighty, our creator of the heavens and the earth, our father, which is in heaven, understanding and having that respect for him. You know, parents don't necessarily want you to, to be, you know, fearful of them. They want you to come to them. Like, God wants you to come to him and talk to him and tell him all about your, your, your struggles and your issues and your problems, you know. But he also want a respect level there. Parents also want a respect level from their children to understand that I'm the parent, I'm the father, I'm the mother, and you are the child. You know, and... And understanding who they are. It mentions about being made manifest. That's basically just saying this, you know, knowing a person. Knowing who you are. Knowing your character. You know, people knew who Paul was based on his character. Uh, the ones that they believed. They understood that he was a person that was committed and faithful to God. It's something to be said, class, about knowing someone's character. Knowing someone who they are, getting to know a person for yourself, and understand, well, oh, this person couldn't possibly have did that. I've seen them do this consistently. They've been faithful consistently, so I can count on their word. I understand who they are. When they say they're going to do something, they're going to do it. But you also know the, the the flip side of other people that when they say something, you know, good and well, they're not going to do it. <laughs> you know that they're, they're not going to do anything. As far as their word is concerned. 
So let's go on and and, and talk about also the ministry of love. Okay? For the love of Christ constraineth us because we thus judge that one died for all. Then we all died or dead. And that we had died for all, that he had died for all, that which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. Wherefore henceforth know we know man after the flesh. Yea, though we know Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. All right. Ministry of love. Christ died for us because he loved us. You know, there was a situation that where, you know, Adam had man separated from God. And because Adam had failed, you know, man had, fa had fallen. Christ came, and God had created, you know, sent his son, his only begotten son, to, to reconcile the relationship between man and God. And Jesus didn't have to come, you know. He wasn't guilty of anything. He wasn't guilty of sin. But he was here to, to save us from sin. You know, Christ, because of Christ, <laughs> we are dead to sin. Because he died on the cross. And when he died, we went, we, we died with him. And when he rose, we, we, re we resurrected our relationship with Christ. You know, with, with God. Because of Christ. And what Adam was different because he was dead in sin. And we are dead to sin. So there, there lies the difference. But because Christ loved us, he went through all that that agony and pain and, and being talked about and being mocked. You know, Paul can relate to some of this because this is what's going on right now. People talk about him. But Paul didn't stop him from didn't stop him from spreading the gospel. It didn't stop Christ for keeping on, keeping on. That's something to 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 be inspired about, class. We're gonna go through hardship. We're gonna go through people talking about us. We're going to go through so many struggles in life. It's not going to be easy. But have the faith and be encouraged that Christ is still with us along the way. Along the way. May, as they say, may Jesus, you know, bear the cross alone and all the world go free. No, there's a cross for everyone and there's a cross for me. We all have our own cross to bear. But he's not going to put too much on you that you cannot bear. Be encouraged, class, on that. And keep pressing on. Be thy faithful unto death. And he will give you a crown of life. Okay? So, we're going to talk about this ministry of reconciliation. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things pass away. And behold, things are become new. And all these things are of God, who have reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and have given us the ministry of reconciliation, to wit that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not in putting them their trespasses unto them, and have committed unto us the word of reconciliation. And now, then, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, and be ye reconciled to God. For he hath made him to be a sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Amen. Amen. You know, class, um, when you become save you are a new creature all things are in the past and then you know all things are becoming new your way of thinking is new the way you live is new the way you 
you know, your whole aura about you, the, just everything, your ways and how you didn't forgive before. Now you're starting to learn how to forgive people and help people and carry on as such as, like, as a Christian, as a child of God. These are the things, the characteristics that people will see. And, you know, it's, it's the, the problem with this is this is what Paul had. And a lot of some of these Corinthians, they were looking at the outer appearance because Paul didn't have all these credentials that they was looking to expect. So they didn't really want to listen to what he had to say. They figured he was a fool, but that's the problem with us. We are looking at all this, this these credentials and the outer appearance. But thank God for Jesus. He looks at the heart. The heart. Be inspired, class, by this lesson because we can learn something about this. There's so many different examples we can look at. Women, we, we y'all look at the outer appearance of a man. Men, we look at the outer appearance of a woman. But what about their character? That's what's going to make a relationship last. Not the physical, but the heart. Someone that has compassion. Someone that's not selfish. Love is not selfish. Those kind of things, you know. As we look at, you know, churches calling preachers and people have their own reasons of why they want to vote for certain people <laughs> to be in office. <laughs> because of the appearance. And, it's, it, and, it, and I get it. Let's be honest. Let's be fair. As human beings, we do look at appearance for a lot of things. It does say a little bit about your character. It does. But it doesn't say everything. Get to know a person. Try them out for yourself. <laughs> the world is in trouble right now. Because of how we view people. They looked at Jesus as the carpenter. That's the carpenter's son. Surely, surely he can't be the savior to, to save us. Boy, were they wrong. So we, we, we had to understand that Paul is doing some good teaching here. He's doing some good preaching. And some don't believe. Some died and still didn't believe. But man, others did. That's why we have to seek for wisdom. And, 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 and look and study the Bible and, and understand who's real and who's not. Who's trying to fool you and who's not. That's that gift of the sermon that you can understand and, and, and see. Some, some people got the gift that they just, can just read somebody while they open their mouth. Can see right through them. Especially the elders, boy. They, they, they look at the child and say, oh, he's not going to be anything. And, you know, something. I'm talking about someone that really, that really has wisdom. I ain't talking about someone that is being judgmental <laughs> and being mean. I'm talking about somebody that really knows someone that's going to be successful in life and someone that's not. Because they look at the behavior, they're looking at the, the characteristics, the, the way they move, the way they act. And a lot of times, most times, nine, 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 nine times out of ten, they are correct. We have to pray, be prayed up, class, and study these lessons. Look at the Bible studies that our Pastor Cox is teaching us. And, and, and read for yourself. Also study for yourself. Don't take what the teachers are saying or the preachers are saying. Study for yourself to know these things. You know, one thing about Christ, that's before we close this lesson. He, he, he is fair. He's a righteous judge. But he saw something in Paul, which was Saul. Okay? He saw something in him that he said, you know what? I want him on working for me. I want him to be an ambassador for me. Now, man would look at the outer appearance and look what he was doing and say, wait a minute, why, are, you, are you crazy? Why would you want Saul to be on your side? He's trying to kill your own people. But Christ saw something deeper. He saw how committed Paul was to that. He saw how committed Paul was on his mission to kill and persecute the Christians. He saw the characteristics in him that he said, you know what? If I can just change his heart, I can use that because he is committed. He is committed to the wrong thing. He is a leader. He is leading people the wrong way. I can use that. And that's what he told Paul. 
Saul to Paul. So what we have to do is when we see people, people that have potential, don't give up on them. Just try to inspire them. Change them. They have something in them. These need someone to lead and guide them. And that would be Jesus Christ. Pray for them, class. Pray for them. And um, work with them. You can't change everybody. You can't. I mean, anything. Christ said it to his disciples. You know, do, do what you can. If you don't believe, shake the dust off your feet and keep, keep moving. He, Christ even did it himself. He said, hey, look, you know, I can't do any miracles here. I got, I got to leave here. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, that's just the way it is. Some people just are meant to be going to hell and some are going to be going to heaven. There's a heaven and there's a hell. But at the end of the day, we do have a choice. We can go left, we can go right. It's our choice. Make the right choice. And decide to make Jesus your choice. All right? <laughs> ambassadors for Christ. Let's be ambassadors of Christ and uh, let's, let's press on. You know, whatever it is you're doing, whatever your ministry is, you know, we like churches talk about ministries a lot. You know, ushering or. Uh, teaching or singing whatever it is stick with it don't give up on it whatever be committed to it keep pressing on god will will bless you all right next week's lesson next week's lesson we're talking about this stuff here carrying on with paul class i hope you enjoy paul paul is is a, definitely an ambassador for Christ and did some good teaching to the church. And he loved the church. Paul did love the church. As much as he hated the church, <laughs> Christ turned his heart around and made him love the church. All right. But next week's lesson, we will be talking about, and Dean is here, we'll give the lesson. Okay, went a little too far. Paul's th thorn in the flesh. You can see all these lessons in you just cannot remember all of them. Spiritual weapons. All right, spiritual weapons. Amen. Class is Bob for a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for being patient with us and let us have a second chance to get it right because we could have died today, but we could have died yesterday. But God, you give us new mercies every day. Help us to take good advantage of this and get it right today. And lean and depend upon you and get understanding of what you want from us and not have us lean to our own understanding. Father God, bless our church. Bless every church over your namesake. Bless our pastor. Bless our church service today. Heavenly Father, just help us to carry on and be ambassadors for you. And not for ourselves, but do it for you. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Wonderful lesson class. Hope you have a great week. Um, you know, sometimes these weeks be long. You get tired and working and um, and uh, but you but you feel good when you when you study and you read these lessons. It inspires you to keep going on. Love you. Take care. Have a blessed week.